Welcome back to another video. Today's Tuesday, March 19th, and we're still seeing blood in the streets. Crypto still going down. I told y'all before that when Bitcoin, when we think we got it figured out and Bitcoin's going to zig, it takes a zag. When we think it's going to zag, it zigs again, whatever that means. Um, so see if we can figure out, see what the hell's going on. And talk about also some progress that's been going on in several meme coins and stuff like that. Because I know that's the hot item right now. It seems to be one of the few things that's still moving in um, this market, at least moving up. So stay tuned for another video. So welcome back. You know, we talked all the time. None of this in this video is financial advice. Just kind of giving my two cents on what I think. Nine times out of 10, it's not even worth two cents. So sometimes I know some of y'all like different, how I look at things from a different point of view without getting too fancy about it. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. So nothing in this video is financial advice. Do your own research and make sure you make decisions for yourself. Don't let other people make decisions. Never play with money in crypto that you can't afford to lose tomorrow. Crypto markets go up and down. Right now, we see the down. Everybody last week celebrating how we're going to the moon. We're going to be at 100,000 by the end of last week or this week and stuff like that. And now we've had a dip and people are losing their minds. They're losing their shirts. They're losing everything right now. If anybody's been in crypto longer than three minutes, y'all know it goes up and it goes down. What's causing it? Watched a couple of videos today, doing a little research. It seems to be a number of things. So we, we're going to start digging into the charts a little bit and start going over some of that. Just remember, I'm also putting different things out there on Twitter. Make sure that y'all are on my Twitter. Make sure that y'all are in our Facebook group that we're putting information about projects there also. And, and also, because I had this come up again recently, I'm not going to contact y'all. I'm not going to private message y'all or anything like that. So if y'all ever get a message from Grumpy, I'm the only Grumpy that's out there. I am not messaging you. I'm not asking you for money. I'm not asking you for wallet addresses or anything like that. I'm not ask, asking for y'all private DMs or anything like that. And I've always said when I do want to do that, I have to figure out an exact way of how to do it. I prove myself that, I, that I'm me, but I'm not contacting any of that. So please don't fall for any kind of scams or anything like that. I have the links below. The links do help support the channel. Anybody who's trying to get in the wing bits and purchasing stuff from wing for wing bits and stuff like that, I appreciate the help. I make a few cents off of it that helps support the channel, help support me since I'm making videos and doing all this kind of stuff instead of working overtime and, and different things like that. So I'll have to disclose all that because some people got their feelings hurt as if that was some new surprise that YouTube channels do that. I don't know. So let's dig into some of this stuff and see what's going on. So this is the one hour chart. You can see we've had a very decent pullback correction, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, you had this peak, which was last Wednesday. And since that peak, you, you've come down 15%. How far is it going to go? We don't know. I've been doing shorts and, and videos telling everybody, sometimes you can't escape the cycle. And yeah, people who saying that cycle is going to be completely different and as you can't go off of previous cycles because of the ETF. And some people said you can't escape it. I'm kind of in between that. Um, I'm hoping we would break the cycles because I think that hurts us bringing new people into this um, realm because who wants to put money into a, any kind of product or stock or crypto when you know there's a bear market that's going to come at some point, whether it's the next two or three years, and whatever money you're putting in right now is going to be worth less, and you got to worry about managing it and stuff like that. You know, you have to manage stocks, so I guess you manage this. But I've always said that we've always had this 30 to 40% drop off before having. You know, 30, 40% is putting us in that 48, 50 range. I'm not exactly calling for that because I know I'm not the greatest at, at um, all this technical analysis and TA and all this stuff like that. But if you look at previous cycles, this is where we fell. Now, am I saying we're going right now 
and we're going to be doing all this right now. You know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is going to just stay on this whole run right now. And we're going straight to 50,000 like this. I I'm not saying that you also do have 30 days before the having. So if it's going to correct before the having, as some people say it should, and it has in previous havings, you think this correction is coming when it's supposed to be. And sometimes they have shown where that, where there's a correction right after that having. You got people who argued with me saying that you're not going to see this big. And actually, I actually chatted with George on Cryptos R Us. And I even asked him, do you see this kind of correction coming before the having? And he said no because of all this ETF buying and everything else like that. And some people say you can't avoid the cycles, can't avoid the cycles. So while I don't see it going straight down like this, could you possibly see it, you know, continuing down and then it's going to come up and then go down and, and, and do this kind of deal like this, you know, who knows? N nobody knows, but let's be honest. Um, It's it's crypto. And like I said before, when we think it's going to zig, it's going to zag. I think that would be a hell of a peak for it to come up like this and, um, you know, and, and go up like this and go straight down. I, I don't see that either. At some point, at some point, these whales and stuff that are getting into this are going to see a good buying opportunity and they're going to come back in. Um, some people are saying that this has been well overdue be, um, with RSI and everything was well overbought that this should have happened but earlier, but the ETF kind of delayed this and you, and that's why this is happening. That, that is possible also, you know, and another thing we got to think of is to see some of the numbers that people are talking about these six digit numbers and stuff, you have to be able to build support levels down here. And if it accumulates and you build these hard support levels down here, it, it will start moving back up, but you need this support down here to be able to get to the levels that people are talking about. And another thing that we've talked about that is the cause of these problems right now is ETF outflows. You had the lot high, highest level ever of BTF outflows. Hey, where we get in good with the ETF, we have to take the bad with it also. People who are getting into this and seeing this drop and seeing that the money that they put in last week at 72 and $73,000 and see it dipping like this, yanking money out. Um, so it, we, that's one thing we have to worry about is the ETF outflows and how much money is going out or selling off of Bitcoin. Y'all have heard me preach on here. I know probably anybody watching me is not doing this. These people aren't gonna be watching me, but part of it also is liquidations. They're still getting liquidated. $654 million in liquidations slam crypto traders at Bitcoin Falls. And you got people who are trying to open up these longs, thinking that Bitcoin's going to bounce and hoping they can do all this leverage on these Bitcoin longs because they know it's going to go back up to $70,000 and stuff. And they're getting wrecked. And I saw one earlier where they even tried opening up some shorts and when it was coming up a little bit and those got wrecked. You can't short, first of all, you cannot short Bitcoin in the bull market. And Bip, we're in a bull market to a point and this is just not the time to be doing shorting. I'm gonna show you all real quick. This is what was said earlier on around the blockchain. I do watch that because I like to, I like around the blockchain because a blockchain around the blockchain will bring on four or five different guests and they all have different ideas on what's going on with different subjects and stuff like that. So I want to play this for one second, a couple of seconds, just so y'all can hear him explain it way better than me. I don't think it's a number one company. I think the number one is the overbought scenario. I thought Bitcoin was actually going to correct the way it's correcting right now at the 618 using the Fibonacci model. That would have put us right over 48,000. It didn't. The ETF buying shot us through to new all time highs at about 74,000. So we were long overdue for this type of pullback. And I know the uber bullish people are going to say, dude, the ETFs, bro. And, you know, they're going to get upset. But in order for us to hit six figures and to keep going higher, 
market cycles have to play out. The principles have to play out. It doesn't matter how emotional you are. They have to pull back, build the support levels, bounce from them, and keep going to higher prices. So this is your normal cool down after an epic run up. So I wanted to show this also. At the beginning of the bull market that you had last time, when you come back and you look at before this bull market started, you had this quick run up here. And then you had the next big push. I've seen people try to compare that we are now in this big kind of push right here with this pullback. I've seen people today talk about this whole pullback here. And this is where we at right here. And we're in this area with this pullback. And then the next thing is going to be after it accumulates and we build support is when we're going to shoot up here. Now, we don't know. You know, I, I don't know. For this to happen, you have to admit that the cycles are going to repeat themselves. Some people refuse to refuse to say that. ETFs, ETFs. Like the guy said, ETFs, bro. You know, who knows? You know, I'll bring you back to the previous halving. I brought this up before. If you've seen my videos, this white line was the previous halving May of 2020. So 31, 32 days before you had your halving, it doesn't look like much, but I want you to look at the percentages from this high to this low right here. You had a 13%, 13% drawback. And when you look at what Bitcoin just did, it's only at 10%. That might not mean nothing. I could be just imagining stuff. What you definitely don't want to see is you don't want to see this kind of pullback from the high before the halving. Because this, even if you just go where the candles closed, this right here was 53%. I ain't saying that. I'm not calling it. Don't snip me this part saying that's what I'm calling for. There was a lot of things going on back at this point in 2020 for those who remember. But I'm just trying to say if if we're going to say it follows the cycle before the halving, there's a dip. I've been calling for that for months and people try talking me out of it. I kind of weaned one way or the other because, yes, the ETFs made it hot, but it looks like you almost can't get away from it. All right, so let's see if I'm losing my mind or if there was a pattern of this. So let's go back to 2016. I can't remember what the hell I was doing in 2016, but here we are. 2016 was your previous, previous halving. Here's the white line showing the day of the halving. Oh, what do we have almost a month, almost a month before that halving? We had this huge surge up all of a sudden let's see what that was so you had that it went went, it went sideways and then kind of right here it started this move up you had a 75 percent raise skyrocket to the moon and i'm sure when, if you you know you had 444 dollar bitcoin that went up to almost 800 dollar bitcoin i bet people were excited so you had your momentum build up just like we having right now. Come on, all new all time highs and stuff like that. And let's see what it was. So you had these four candles right here that were all sideways about the same price to where this candle closed. 21%. Well, you know what? That's what it was, I believe, on the last one. We're not quite at 21%. You know, you even actually went further down with this wick to almost 30%. And then it came back up and it went sideways. You know, either way, the day of the halving, you went down 13%. Where are we at now? 11, 12%, um, 9%. Could we go down more? I mean, we're going down right now during this video. Hey, listen, I, I'm not a bear. I want to see crypto succeed. There's a greedy part of me. Hey, I, won't, I wasn't ready yet. I didn't have the money yet. I need to buy more, buy more, buy more. I need to accumulate more. And it's a lot easier to accumulate Bitcoin when it's 15,000 versus 75,000. Let's all be honest. But for crypto in a whole, 
of course i wanted to succeed i wanted to keep breaking all-time highs but we do have to accumulate and and worry about cycles to me you can't break the cycles even though how much i want to and i'm repeating myself i think for the best investment to bring new investors in this whole violent cycle of it's dead it's dead it's dead it's a bear market all of a sudden we're in this bull market for you know 12 months or six months or whatever people want to say it is then all of a sudden we go and drop back down i think that just looks really bad for crypto all right so moving on one thing that has still been on fire and y'all know i've been talking about them is memes one day somebody will write the book on how to figure out memes because there are certain memes solana keeps spitting out a meme every there's probably been since i started this video 27 memes that have been put out by solana one might make it and the other ones you'll never hear of that'll fizzle away it's absolutely stupid right now and just want to go over a couple different memes there's been some news about some of the ones that i support and some of the other ones that are that i have not gotten into because i just think it's kind of late and but have news going on too so let's take a look at a couple of those all right so you know the first thing is my biggest meme right now that um that i'm up in at least and that's going to be kulo and kulo still pushing it you know george is behind it from cryptos are us they have their takeover of cancun starting right now that's going on they're resurrecting Jerry somehow. But one of the big thing is, and look, before y'all want to knock it, it ain't the biggest one in the world. It's a step, and it takes one to get started. And once you get started with one, y'all know how this, some of this stuff works. It just comes after that. But uh, Kulo is now listed on a CEX, BitUnix. Not familiar with it, but hey, it's, a, it's an exchange, and that helped the price today. So... Kulo came down. It's no secret. I'm not trying to hide it. Let me get rid of my ugly face right here. And it came down to this one one two four level, and it 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 had a, a nice bounce. Came up one hundred and ten percent. Came back down. Came back up. Still at about one hundred and ten percent, and it's still up. 89% since 4 a.m. this morning. So it, it's had a good surge, and we definitely can't complain right now with Kulo. It's moving. When you zoom out, you know, this is the lowest level it's been for a while since March 10th. But, hey, it's, it's going back up. You still got the momentum. These people still have a lot of things planned with what's going on right now. And I'm still very, I have not touched any of my Kulo or anything. And I, I think Kulo still got a lot of room to go when you look at where it's ranked at and everything like that. So you see where Kulo is at right now. And it's still at rank 2855 on market cap. So, you know, and we also know that this is not correct here because they've been burning the mess out of coins, billions of coins. So this isn't correct either. I don't know how that's reported, but some of y'all want these low cut, these low cap gems. He got a $20 million low cap gem right here. And it's still got a lot of room to go. So big red was my other big meme call. Made me five for five on my meme calls for the year. And Big Red also had big news that they were listed on 2-Bit. So that also helped them out by getting listed. And not only that, but they finally got listed on CoinMarketCap. You know, they're up 3% for the day. But again, there's another one. They have they're ranked 2,800 on market cap. $9 million. Here's another gem for y'all. And this is on the AVAX chain. And... You have heard me talk about it before. I'm not going to waste our time on it, but go on to Trader Joe. Y'all can go to Trader Joe and get this, and it still has plenty, plenty, plenty room to go. Looking at Big Red, you know, it's got its same 
on the same downward, downward thing, just like everything else. But it's a meme coin. Again, the only meme coin, um, really big one on AVAX other than Kakinu. And, you know, my personal opinion, not financial advice, I think Kakinu's had its run. It's gotten very popular. And Big Red has a lot of things planned for, um, for them. When you, when you look at what some of these people are putting in, they got some whales buying Big Red. I'm surprised that the price is down as much as it is down, but Big Red has some things planned going along with Kulo. They're going to be involved with Kulo's. Um, Kulo's doing a lot of pushing right now, and I can see where they had a spaces about an hour ago. I missed that one. You know, I'm, I'm working, but Kulo has. I've told you before, this big thing coming up March 23rd. That's what we were talking about a little while ago. And Big Red will be a part of it also. So both of these cryptos uh, memes have a long way to go. And I think they're doing very well. This is one that's been getting a lot of press lately. Slurf. I don't know who comes up with these names. But Slurf had some controversy to it. But what people are saying now, was it planned controversy? Was it? Some of the best advertising you can do when you accidentally burn millions of dollars worth of liquidity on accident, which killed your supply, and you look at the price it had, or the price increase it had. If you were fortunate enough to touch this wick, like you were talking about earlier on one of the streams, you know, this wick was 2,000, 1,500% if you were able to get into that. You know, even if you were able to get halfway up, this is a 15 minute marker right here. Um, candle, you know, you at 800% for 700% for over an hour. Um, even from where it started out at, depending on where you got in at, you're still 400, 500% because of that. It's slowly coming down as people are just along with the same thing with everything else. I don't know a lot about Slurf. I just bring it up because there's a lot of talk about it after the screw up that they had. So Slurf has about 500 million or half billion total supply. Again, you know, they burnt a good amount of liquidity and stuff in it on accident. You see that it is up, you know, 74 cents. When I looked at it earlier today, it was up a dollar. So it's come down to 72 right here. I don't know much about it. I'm just discussing it just because there's been a lot of people in a lot of these groups talking about slurf and the things going on. But one thing I, I, I constantly want to warn y'all about is when you look up here on the Solana chain, these are all new memes and coins that are being made on Solana. And it's, it's just absolutely crazy. Um, you know, two minutes ago, two minutes ago, two minutes ago, and and you have some of these the most goofiest freaking names they got: Joink, Solana Fox, He Man, Unicorn, Mimi I, Taco Pepe, this word, Felix the Cat, Pepe Tate. You know, and you can just keep going down and keep going down. These are all coins that are constantly being made. 28 minutes ago, 28 minutes ago, 35 minutes ago. And that's why I said earlier in the beginning of the video that while we were just doing the opening part of this video, you probably had 25 new coins show up on Solana. And this is only page one. You go to page two and all these other ones. You have to be really, really careful. For the memes you do hear about, you don't know about the hundreds and probably thousands that are not making it, that are strictly pumped and dumped. And... You know, it, it's just absolutely crazy. So, you know, here you go. You click on one and this one right here came and shot 10 cents and shot all the way up to $9. And then look where it's back at now, a penny. So, you know, it's not even a penny now. Now it's at 0. 0.00006893. So can you imagine buying this, thinking that this meme coin was going up like this and what you know, how bad you would have got wrecked just going in on this $8, $9 meme coin. You have to be careful. How about Boom also, Book of Meme, 
I'll bring that up because that's another one that's hot right now. I'm seeing some different YouTube people. Um, if y'all know Matt, um, in his YouTube page, he does a good live every morning, and he he recently got into this one. You know, you were up to two, almost three cents. It had a good line. You know, those lines going up, and then this whole market. I don't want to use the word crash, but correction. And, and here you are, you, you're going down. Did boom have its moment? I, I don't know. Y'all know, I've told y'all one of my favorite sayings that I stole from some unknown location, but you know, you don't have to, you don't hate it. You don't have to date it. Just trade it. There's a lot of people talking about book of, of, of meme for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know. If it's just a new hot topic this week. But, you know, is this a good buying opportunity? I, I don't know. I know Book of Meme is ranked 127 right now, which is not bad for a coin that's only three days old, four days old. I, I don't know exactly how old it is. I don't want to lie to you, five days old. But um, there's still a lot of people behind this. So, you know, the, the question always comes in is, I, and I brought up before, is how many Solana meme coins can be supported at one time? I know Whiff is one of my favorite coins that are out there. It's one of my first meme coins I called for Christmas. And I told you all the story before, it was 20-something cents. Bought more at nine cents, sold it at 42, kicked myself in the butt, bought it back at 75 cents, and I'm still riding it, have not touched it. And um yesterday it was back up to three dollars and thirty cents and i'm thinking that's it we we it you know they had rumors about this coming to coinbase which those rumors are still going on um it was never said that it wasn't going to coinbase but here you go right here it, it was all the way up to three dollars and thirty cents three dollars and thirty one cents came back down bounced and now we on this downward slide just like everything else that's going on so this is the one hour chart You know, you see articles like this, Dog Whip Hat makes new all-time high. You know, I, I'm I'm a very big Whiff fan. Yeah, kind of cut my teeth on it, on this channel with the memes. And, but it, it was a top 50 coin. I, I want to say it went down to 45 or 44 at some point. Um, And with this drop now, now you have 51. But these these market caps are very close together. So this going back to three dollars, three dollars and twenty cents is going to put you back up here in, in these forty this forty range. I know a lot of people um are into cock inu. I can't even stand saying the name. It's so freaking childish. You know why why all these meme coins that have to have all this sexual stuff right now? It's, it's just stupid. It makes us look like idiot, immature morons. But you know, you still had this coin that everybody's pushing and everybody thinks is the greatest thing in the world because everybody's a bunch of mature children, I mean, immature children. But you've had the same thing that all the rest of them have had. You got the same downward. And I, I mean, they're all going to be kind of the same. You know, whether, whether or not you think this still has enough to push through. You know, here's Floki. A lot of people talk about Floki. We know Floki had that big thing going on. Um, New York. Times Square, but same thing like every other coin I showed you, it's followed it. So let's be honest, until until th this one gets its act together, you know, un until this one gets its act together, this is the one hour chart, 15 minute chart, whatever one you want to look at, but it looks awfully similar when you look at these, um, when you look at, at this kind of high top right here is what we saw in all these other coins. And then you got this downward action. They're all following the same thing with Bitcoin. And one thing I want to show y'all, if y'all still here with me, is two of the big dogs right now that seem to be non-touchable, untouchable in this drop over the last few days, that is no more. This is Solana. I want y'all to look at this price on Solana right now. We were just at, you want to talk about a price drop. 
guys, this is not supposed to be any financial advice or anything like that. So don't hold me responsible for any decisions you make. But that's between you and your wife and any other bad decisions you want to make. This is 21% drop on Solana right now. We know Solana's supposed to be all these people talking about flipping Ethereum and stuff like that. That's amazing. Um, to go from two hundred and ten dollars down to one hundred and sixty something dollars, and depending on which way, if it keeps going, this is why I talked about before that Bitcoin dropping. Me personally, selfish. I'm sorry. I don't mind this dropping because I get to accumulate more. I wish it would have happened last week when the payday was here, but it gets to accumulate more. Y'all want to see another one that thought we all thought was untouchable? Look at this one. Now you got a, you got AVAX doing the same thing. AVAX was untouchable. It's on fire right now. It's got all these projects. Here you got the top. Here you got the bottom. Almost 20% again. Now you got this price again. You know, again, this can't be financial advice. Y'all got to do your own thing. Do I think it's a good buying opportunity? Yes. Do I think it could fall more? Yes. Do I think it can go up from here? Yes. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm being for real with y'all. Yes. I think all those scenarios are going to happen. Yes. I think it could go down from here, but let's be honest. If you make purchases now and it falls down to 51 or retests, you know, we passed this support right here. So right here is your next line of support. What is that? $50. And Okay, it goes down to $50. That's a $3 difference. Is that really going to make or break you on getting a Lambo? No, but I can tell you right now, if it if if you buy here and it bounces up, you're going to think you're the greatest trader in the world. If you hesitate and it goes back up as fast as it came down and it's back up here and $60 when you want to buy, you're going to be sick to your stomach also. So Sometimes you just got to make the decision. You make the decision when you're right. Again, don't take chances. Don't go play with money. You can't afford to lose tomorrow in case all this changes. I don't know TNA. I just like to look at sometimes without looking at all these different spider lines and all this craziness and stuff like that. It just kind of just, it's a guess. And we're all guessing, especially right now with all this ETF stuff and everything going on. It's all guessing. And if anybody tells you different, they lie. Here's another one. I know a lot of y'all follow me over here from the helium world. And you look at where we at right now. You know, we were at like $9 early this month. We're down to six. You know, my helium miners make enough helium. I'm, I'm not purchasing that out of pocket. But Cardano, 58 cents. Adam, $10.82. Vets in the threes again. I didn't think I'd see that. A lot of these coins are down and how much more to go down? We don't know. Look at this. This is everything is in the red. Everything's in the red. Of course, you had the season. Solana's still up for the month. But Aptos. Yeah, it, it's it's blood in the streets right now. Extreme Greed's still up at 83, though. How's this look for you? That's crypto bubbles for the day. Top 100 coins, you know, it, it's, it's painful out there right now. You know, this is the hour. I don't see a single green deal. There's not a single thing up And some of these ones that were big, you know, ones that rose up really, you know, really big, really fast. I like jupe. I love the exchange, but they're hurting right now. Adam, his whiff. Oh man. Whew. Pepe is another one that's down. You know, it seems like your memes are taking it on the chin right now and they're hurting. Here's the 100 to 200. There's one green. How? I heard somebody talk about it earlier. Haven't had a chance to look into it. Don't know what it's about. But we heard about Slurf. Slurf's still showing that that downward spiral or whatever from um that burn yesterday. His book of meme. So it seems like your memes. And one thing... He, you know, we talk about is sometimes the faster and harder things go up is the harder they're going to bounce down. And sometimes the harder these things bounce down and the more momentum they have going down is how violent it goes back up. And the way these memes are going right now, I don't think this meme season's over with or nothing crazy like that. 
it's absolutely just the memes are going crazy and that's all this to it so that's your crypto bubble cryptobubbles.net if any of y'all want that website so i think i rambled on long enough for y'all hopefully youtube algorithm likes it i don't know i just thought I, i'd do a little bit different video for y'all you know on the passive income side we're doing our testing with bit harvest and with wing bits and stuff like that so we're running those tests bit harvest should be having their um firmware release soon where you can download it yourself install it of course y'all know i'm gonna do a how-to video for y'all that's how i got started in, the, in on youtube i know majority of y'all much rather the how-to videos i do than the crap i put out currently but just to try to keep the channel interesting and try to keep it in your memory i'm trying to do some videos um so that y'all remember me and keep the algorithm going and stuff like that in between the how i can only do so many how-to videos um but so hopefully bit harvest gets that that firmware out soon we'll do some because i'm planning on testing it you know i know for a fact it works on the sense caps because i have one sense caps and i have mntd gold right here i'm planning on putting it on but i want to put it on the, the at least in my collection the weirder certain um devices like the synchro bits those have been hit and miss trying to put something else like a wing bits on it um like the rock pies the worst piece of crap that helium has come out with or that it proved none of mine worked correctly with helium wouldn't witness right or beacon right or something like that so i want to put i know it's a different kind of a little bit different os i want to put um bhs on that um also the la potatoes you know i pushed a lot of la potatoes to people when you didn't want to go spend 60 70 dollars on um pies and different things like that so i want to be able to get a hold of that software firmware whatever you want to call it put it on la potatoes and see how that runs so far everything that i've tried to put it on has worked great i'm getting more messages with that than i am the normal wing bits and there's no knock on wing bits i had to make sure i explained it earlier in a private message to somebody wing bits are just using the basic tar 1090 program i forget exactly what it's called but you know that's what they're using and then they're, they're worried more about the whole project itself and you know selling that project to get customers and different things like that and building the project so um we, we'll see how that test goes and see how those how-to videos start working out and different things like that. I'm staying all in on Kulo. I'm staying all in on Whiff. Staying all in on Big Red right now. I can only be in so many. You know, I don't have a lot of money to go around to all these meme coins because I'm still DCA in, in my normal coins and stuff like that, which we talked about before. Um, so we'll see how this whole crypto thing goes. Whether Bitcoin keeps falling or not, you know, I, I'm watching a couple different YouTube videos. I'm waiting to see what George says tonight. I kind of trust him on what he's looking at, what he sees. And I'm, I see people thinking it's going to fall some more. And they also say at the same time, don't even try shorten it because they don't see it. They don't think it's going to fall. I, I don't know what the hell that means. But I don't want to ramble on too long. I appreciate everybody who's followed along, especially with this kind of video. I know this is not what I'm really known for, but hopefully it's just my different take on things that, Y'all kind of prefer the way I look at it and not getting all super technical analysis and stuff like that on it. So y'all have a good day and I'll uh, see y'all in the next video.